In this problem, we're told the tires of a new compact car have a diameter of 2 feet and are warranted for 60,000 miles. A, determine the angle and radians through which one of these tires will rotate during the warranty period, and B, how many revolutions of the tire are equivalent to your answer in part A. So basically what we want to do is solve for the angle theta, right, that's going to be turning in radians. So how do we do that? So basically, you can calculate theta using the formula theta is equal to the length, right, the distance something travels, divided by the radius. Right, so we need to find the length it travels and the radius. And when we do this, right, in, in order for it to be radians, it has to be in meters and meters. So both of these must be in meters if we want to be able to do this. So notice we need the radius, right, in meters. We're given the diameter, and we're also given the distance it travels, right? So the distance is 60,000 meters, right? Or 60,000 miles, sorry. 60,000 miles is going to be how much it, right, how far it goes, right? So what's first by finding the radius? So we know the diameter, but it's in feet. So we need it in uh, radians, or, or we need it in meters, right? So two feet, right? We know that for every one, or you need to know this, for every one foot, there is point, for every one foot, 0 0.3048 meters. So if you want to convert it, just do two times 0 0.3048, right? So plug that in your calculator, two times 0 0.3048, we'll get 0 0.6096. So Point zero, or point six zero nine six. sorry. So this is going to be in meters, so this is your diameter, right? But we need the radius, and the radius is just half the diameter, right? Because this whole thing's the diameter, we need half of it for the radius, so you want to divide it by 2. So if you divide it by 2, we'll get 0 0.3048. So meters, that's going to be the radius, right? So now we got the radius, 0 0.3048 meters, now we need the length. So the length is 60,000 miles, but we need it in meters again. So 60,000 miles, you need to know that for every one mile, right? One mile is the same as 1,609.34 meters. So go ahead and do this. 60,000 times 1609.34, right? Miles cancel and you'll get, it's a big number. So 96560, oh, sorry about that. 96 five six zero four zero zero right so ninety six million five hundred five hundred sixty thousand four hundred so this is in meters so now what we do is just plug it in for the length so five six nine six five six zero four hundred meters and so now that they're both in meters all you have to do is divide and you'll get it in radians right so plug in your calculator nine six five six zero four hundred divided by 0.3048. And when you do that, you're going to get a big number. It's going to be 316799212.6. And so keep in mind, this is going to be radians. So yeah, you can round this if you want. It's going to be 3.2 times 10 to the 8 radians, right? So all I do is round this to 2. So 3.2 times 10 to the 8 radians, that's going to be your answer to A. So now that we've done A, let's go ahead and do B. So for B, what we're trying to do is find how many revolutions of the tire are equivalent to your answer in part A. So we're basically going to take this number and turn it into revolutions, right? So it's 3.2 times 10 to the 8th. And if you want to use the more exact version, you can. I'm just going to use the rounded one. So 3.2 times 10 to the 8 radians, and we want it in revolutions. So you need to know that 2 pi radians is the same as 1 revolution, right? So if that's the case, all you got to do is basically divide by 2 pi, right? So multiply by 1 revolution for every 2 pi radians. Right? Notice the radians will cancel, and it'll just get 3.2 times 10 to the 8 divided by 2 pi, and that's going to give it to you in uh, revolutions, right? So if you go ahead and do that, right, so plug in your calculator, 3.2 times 10 to the 8, and then divide by uh, 2 pi, right? So when you do that, you'll get 5092958.1.79, right? And I'm just going to put it in scientific notation so 5.1 times 10 to the 7 revolutions but yeah so this is gonna be your answer to b and hopefully you found this useful